Welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. Today we are going to discuss force between parallel straight current carrying conductors. And in this case, we're going to consider two parallel conductors carrying current in the same direction. And in another case, we will consider two current carrying conductors carrying current in opposite direction. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe what happens when two conductors carry current in the same direction and when two conductors carry current in opposite direction. So if you have parallel conductors carrying current in the same direction, what's going to happen is that the magnetic field between the two conductors is going to be weaker due to the concentration of the magnetic field and therefore inside there will be a weak field outside the conductor there will be a very strong field and then this will cause a resultant force which will make these two conductors to move close to each other or the outside force will push them close to each other i want us to draw the two conductors here and we consider the scenario in each, in in this case so if we have a magnetic field around this first conductor like this then we have another magnetic field on the other conductor like this one here. Then what's going to happen? This one is if you determine its direction or the direction of this magnetic field, up here they'll be moving like that, here like that. On this side they'll be moving down, here they'll be moving up. Then if you consider the other one, here they'll be moving up. Here they will be moving in this direction, then here down, here they will be moving like that. So what did we say about magnetic field moving in opposite direction? There will be a concentration. So here there is a concentration of the magnetic field. If there is a concentration of magnetic field outside, there is no concentration of magnetic field. Then it means these two conductors will experience a force in this direction. And this one will experience a force in this direction and these two conductors will move close to each other so in this case if we can draw now a resultant magnetic field from that case then we can draw it like this we can draw the resultant magnetic field which looks like this this is the first one and then this is the second one i'm going to draw very few magnetic fields which are complete here they will be moving like that here moving like that then on the other side also we will have few magnetic fields which are complete this case moving like that and here moving like that but now after this there will be a magnetic field which will be looking like this these two will be joined like that then from this side we will have a magnetic field which will be joined on the outer part like that. So in this case, the reinforcement from outside or the, the great force from outside due to the concentration inside here, some field will cancel. This, uh, these two conductors will move to each other. So in this case, there will be an attraction. So if you are doing your wiring and then you put two conductors are moving in the same direction in the same pipe, there will be always an attraction and if there's a leakage or there's a, a, a disconnection or there's a loose wire then they are going to cause some sparks which can cause accidents in the house so here when you have two conductors moving in the same direction then there's an attraction so when you have parallel conductors carrying current in opposite direction what you are going to realize is that the field between the two conductors repel each other due to the direction or same direction of the magnetic field therefore this will result to a repansion between the two conductors and if we can draw them here if you have a conductor this one carrying current into the surface then this one carrying current out of the surface if you draw the magnetic field on this first a conductor here like that then you draw a magnetic field around this conductor like this one here 
what you are going to realize if you find or if you draw the magnetic field along this first or this wire which is carrying out here it's going to move down then here it's going to move up like that then in this other case here the first uh, diagram then if you draw here it's also going to move down here it's going to move like that so in this case when these two magnetic fields remember in the previous case they were moving in opposite direction but here they are moving in the same direction therefore it means here they will repel because now when north pole and north pole meet they will repel so these two conductors will repel and here we will have a neutral point when they repel therefore it means the force will be directed out this will move out like that this will move out like that in this case there will be a repulsion when you have two conductors carrying current in opposite direction there is a repulsion and this is the most recommended connection which you should do if you have to put two wires which are carrying current in the same pipe then let them conduct current in opposite direction so we can also consider a force on a current carrying rectangular coil and in this case for a rectangular coil in a magnetic field one side experiences an upward force and the other side downward force and this is due to the cancellation and reinforcement of the magnetic field so here if you have two permanent magnets north pole and south pole then you have two conductors in this case you have a, a coil a coil has one side which is moving in makes a close and then it will move out on the other side and in this case if we draw the magnetic field around this first conductor this magnetic field if we use framing this right hand rule then here it will be moving like that then if we consider the second one here we draw the magnetic field around it then we use fleming is left hand rule right hand rule then here it will be moving like that in this case if we draw the magnetic field from north pole to south pole due to this permanent magnet we are going to realize that there is a wire which will get reinforcement and there is another conductor which will get a cancellation but at a different juncture so in this case look at this this one is receiving uh, like that let me draw first so in this case i want you to consider this on the first wire up here the field is moving in the same direction so this reinforcement reinforcement then but down here moving in opposite direction cancellation so if there is cancellation this wire will move downwards it will move from where we have a uh, reinforcement to where we have cancellation so this wire will move downward let me indicate with a force f and now can we look at the second wire the second wire down here they are moving in the same direction here there is reinforcement reinforcement and then up here they are moving in opposite direction cancellation cancellation so in this case this wire or uh, will move up this one will move upwards that is the direction of force and therefore if now you can draw this a, 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 a resultant force then you can draw a permanent magnet here with another permanent magnet here then north pole and south pole then you have your two conductors one moving in then another one moving out then in this case in the first conductor above here we have a reinforcement we have a reinforcement and then the second one down here we have a reinforcement so here there will be a magnetic field which will be moving like that the first wire reinforcement is above the second wire reinforcement is below then the first wire cancellation is below then the second wire cancellation is above so in this case this wire will experience a downward force where there is a weak field this one will experience an upward force where there is a, a, a weak field so in this case if this wire is can, can can be rotated if this one moves down and this one moves up then you are causing clockwise and anticlockwise moment and that will cause a turning effect that we will discuss more about this in the next lesson
So we have factors which affect the force on a conductor carrying current in a magnetic field. And the first one is that the magnitude of the current. If the current that you use in the conductor is high, then the force that will be produced will also be high. Then another one is the strength of the magnetic field. In this case, if the magnetic field from the permanent magnet is strong, then the force which will be produced will be also be stronger. And if the magnetic field from the magnets is weaker, then the force will be weak. And the third one is the length of the conductor in the field. The longer the length of the conductor, the stronger the force. And the, the smaller the length of the conductor, the smaller the force. Then the other fourth one, which is also very important, is the angle the conductor makes with the magnetic field. Like in this case, if you have a magnet here with another magnet here, if you have a conductor here, which will make a 90 degrees, 90 degrees with the magnetic field, then the force will be maximum. But if the conductor makes uh, an angle, like in this case, if we have this North Pole and South Pole, if we have another conductor here, North Pole, South Pole, but now instead of making a 90 degrees, it's making an angle like in this case, let's say 30 degrees or 120 degrees. So in this case, the force is going to be minimum. So force is maximum when the flux, we want to learn this in the flux linkage angle is 90 degrees. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss an electric motor.